Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to, to briefly welcome Geshela. Um, it's my great honor to have Geshela here, and I know we all feel the same. Uh, Geshela has been associated with our center for about a year, and I know that we hope that that association is just the beginning of very many, many years of association. So please keep coming back, please keep teaching us. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Geshela is a, has a doctorate of Buddhist uh, studies from Sarah May. He's been a visiting teacher for over 20 years and based in Australia, but we're very blessed uh, to have him here with us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, hello to everyone. Everyone in the, in the Zoom too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm very, very happy to uh, be at Tupin Mabuli. Uh, it was inspiration for a long time. Also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the resident teacher, Kisha uh, Kisha Tupin Sharap, someone whom I have a great respect when I was senior. And of course, uh, it's a uh, blessings of uh, Lama Yishe and Kapjan Lama Sobarambuche. Uh, mm, so very much the mandala of this center is a blessed, you know, with uh, Rinpoche. Uh, then uh, this sincere uh, connection and the request made by Venerable Dundup and the rest of the uh, committees and the students. So yeah, finally my karma ripened. So I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to be here, so thank you. <laughs> so, uh, the topic for tonight, and I think there are three more sessions on uh, the practice of three devotion. Uh, it's about uh, you know, it's about guru and, and disciple re disciples relationship. So this uh, 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 the topic and the and, and and the and the practice, you know, uh, on on guru devotion, even just to discuss. Uh, it is, it is not easy. Uh, it is a, it is a very, mm, mm, it's a tough subject. But it is one of most essential and most important subject. Uh, whether, you know, whether, uh, whether we like to discuss or not, whether we like to practice or not, uh, you know, the guru devotion, uh, the practice of guru yoga or practice of guru devotion uh, is must if our spiritual goal is to actualize liberation uh, from sense. Hmm? If it's our spiritual goal is enlightenment, then Mm. Mm. Then, uh, without learning about this subject, we cannot progress on any path, how profound the path may be, how artistic path it sounds, uh, no way that we can receive the blessing. You know. So the Buddha Dharma, the Dharma knowledge and Dharma practice is not like uh, normal academic, uh, you know, universal knowledge um, and practice. Uh, Dharma knowledge and practice uh, count very much by the blessing. You know, just knowing uh, uh, the sure. Okay. 
or maybe like this. Better? Much? Okay. <laughs> My voice was very small. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So it must learn about uh, uh, the the teachings on Guru Yoga, teachings on Guru Guru devotion, and and must practice. Mm, as I, as I, men I mentioned before, without without this, no foundation uh, to 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 set the rest of the gradual path to enlightenment. Mm. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, and then especially, um, you know, in some culture, uh, we have this idea of, you know, uh, equanimity, like e uh, eco. Like I, I don't have to bow down to anybody. <laughs> I don't have to, you know, uh, I don't. I don't have to obey anybody's order. Uh, you know, myself alone is my boss. No one else. Uh, if if anyone has, if, if anywhere or anyone has this kind of culture, then especially uh, the 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 practice and the teachings on guru devotion, you know, become harder. It will become harder. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, but then at the same time, you know, whoever come into uh, Buddhist path, uh, whichever culture background that you, you you came from, but the moment you show interest to learn about Buddha Dharma, then in one way, I believe everyone carry this open mind, uh, very you know, very, very fine ground in your heart uh, that, that there is some, some sense of readiness <clears throat> uh, to adopt the teaching, even the teaching on Guru devotion and the teaching on Guru Yoga practice. So, so from that point of view, then in one way, it's not that, maybe not so that difficult. <laughs> uh, but still, uh, we experience you know, like sometime, even in, in a monastery, when we have some uh, course, Dharma teaching course, um, of course, the participants very much came there to learn about Buddhist teaching. And, but at the, at the same time, uh, you know, we do find that I'm not ready to learn about Guru devotion. <laughs> you know, same time, not ready to, not ready to, uh, yeah, not ready to uh, hear uh, something that which that they need to lower their ego, you know. <laughs> uh, the, the the ego, the, 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 that very, very much, uh, you know, a bit of influence, maybe very much influenced by kind of, uh, you know, I'm the supreme. You know, you know, I cannot obey to anybody else. Like that kind of ideas. So it happens. Mm. So, so even you, you, you come to pursue dharma. We do find, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, unreadiness uh, for for this teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm. So. But whatever it is, one day we have to break this shell. Otherwise, uh, you can't move forward. You know, even you may know a great deal about wisdom of emptiness. Even you may, you know, uh, I mean, anybody would appreciate about practice of great love, great compassion, you know, but, and also this, practice of those, uh, uh, you know, very uh, exotic kind of practices, 
uh, you know, many people have this view of uh, magical, exotic, uh, super supernatural uh, of these tantric practices. So, so people kind of quite easily have a form of, uh, you know, tantric tantric. The moment you hear about tantra, you know, people just get excited. So, so whether we want to, you know, deepen our uh, development of the common path, like such as uh, love, compassion, and wisdom of selfless, or want to engage in uncommon path, which, which is the Tantra, the root is still served by the practice of Guru Yoga, practice of Guru Devotion. Mm. Mm. So, mm. so in one way, you know, If we approach this this teaching uh, uh, not just you know what sometimes we hear uh, from here and there, kind of this guru guru yoga practice is something that which is 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 um, is too difficult rather you know approach with sense of uh, our conventional uh, you know way of understanding like in any knowledge you know we need to rely on teacher isn't it even someone to become a carpenter you know we need to rely on a teacher qualified teacher to 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 be a good qualified carpenter even uh, even know how to bake you know good cake uh, we have rely on we have we have rely on teacher. Maybe the teacher may didn't really pronounce. That could be your mother, you know. That could be your grandma. Uh, when when you are children, maybe you have you have some way somehow educated directly indirectly, and you have to learn from somebody. You know, hardly we have this spontaneous knowledge. Uh, you know, even driving, we need to learn from somebody. Uh, you see, so uh, even wearing clothes, you know, we have to learn from somebody. You know, mother, father, when we are baby, you know, they they keep train ourselves how to wear the clothes. Then eventually, uh, we will know how to wear the clothes. Uh, uh, so, <clears throat> so now, even those conventional qualifications and conventional Perfection, perfections, you know, need to be trained, need to be learned from uh, someone that who 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 know before than us. Then there's no caution about needed to rely on qualified teacher uh, to travel through an unknown path, unknown knowledge, you know, unexperienced path, you know, unexperienced journey, you know. So, mm, so, uh, uh, so the so the roadmap, you know, the the GPS, you know, uh, towards liberation enlightenment. Uh, beside Buddha, no one, you know, beside beside Buddha, no one really invented, uh, or, 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 you know, there's no GPS that we can we can purchase. <laughs> From any shops, any supermarket, I would say department in the whole world, and not even American scientists able to produce it. <laughs> uh, so the, the 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 GPS to towards uh, enlightenment uh, is very much, you know, the Buddhas have discovered, and that also uh, through their own uh, journey, you know, they have discovered all the path, and the gurus are the uh, uh, the manif manifestation of the Buddha. You know, Guru are the, um, you know, the the closest person that who can, 
you know, who can, who can interpret correctly is very much like who can own the GPS and put us onto the right track is very much, very much like that. So, <clears throat> so therefore, uh, in one way, hmm, it's, it's, it's like must needed the, the guru in our life. So you see, mm, uh, mm, yeah. So, so something like that. Mm. So, the, so, so from this point of view, then it is not uh, not that difficult, you know, uh, to 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 rely on on someone um, whom you can re relate as a teacher. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mentor, you know, guru. Mm -hmm. So the term um, is a term the the just a teacher and guru. You know, there are there are uh, the you know, differences um, in in our spiritual you know understanding. There are differences. Uh, uh, Guru serve, you know, when someone someone become a guru to you, you know, the responsibility, um, you know, increases. Mm -hmm. Someone as just a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the relationship not as advanced as relationship that you establish with someone as a guru and disciple, you know, uh, teacher and student and guru and disciple. So. Uh, just just learning knowledge without uh, the guru disciple commitment, which has a special way to establish you know guru disciple commitment. The teacher student commitment is very much the teacher's responsibility to pass down the knowledge, and a student to get learn that. And of course, you know, student side of our respect, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, mm -hmm. we would do to anyone who teach us knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, even in the Dharma, you know, very much similar like that. You know, someone who is qualified in the teaching then taught you the knowledge and you, you, have, you appreciate that and you respect that. Uh, so very much, you know, the, the relationship you know, can be can be very much that level, but then, when when spiritual teacher become a spiritual guru, or the the teacher who taught the Dharma become spiritual guru to you, then <clears throat> uh, the relationship very much very much lies on the disciples. Of course, you know, lies on the both side. But when you when you commit. Uh, to someone as I am someone, I, want, I am that person's disciple and that person's my guru, very much lies on the student's heart. You know, very much, very much responsibility to make that commitment is on the student and not the guru, you see. Mm. So the student, of course, there are many processes, you know, there's so much to discuss about this. So, so here very much like give a just little overview. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the, you know, the student find, uh, you see, is it based on the, the, the Buddha's teaching? Uh, there are ways for a student to find in the teacher that this teacher is qualified to be my guru. So there are qualifications that need to be examined, that which I think I will discuss uh, more detail later. <clears throat> and once you find that quality in the teacher, uh, then you know, yourself uh, submit as a disciple, accepting that teacher as a guru. Is not from the guru side. Uh, 
you know, there are occasions, they are very rare, but there are a very rare, you know, a possibility that guru may choose the disciple. You know, guru may say, okay, among, among here, okay, this, 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 this person is my disciple, or you be my disciple. It's quite rare, but possible. But mainly from the student side, you accepting the teacher as your guru. And the way to do that, of course, you know, uh, making, making that uh, um, commitment in your heart on the basis of a certain degree of faith and certain degree of conviction. You know, faith and conviction to the teacher that this teacher has capability to uh, fulfill, you know, uh, fulfill the journey that I pursue, the liberation. You see, like um, it will condition, you know, this teacher has the qualification to condition my spiritual path. Uh, so, you know, that can be in the sense of inspiration. You know, this teacher is so inspiring, you know, uh, the ins inspiration, you know, uh, that this teacher may be able to inspire me uh, to, to, you know, stay fast in the, uh, in the path, to, to, to inspire, to develop my journey towards, to, uh, towards liberation, you know, uh, inspire uh, me to renounce samsara and its causes, you know, inspire me to uh, learn the Dharma, inspire me to cultivate the Dharma. It's, it's, you know, uh, cause me, condition me to actualize uh, the path, you know, all the way up to enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, commit on the basis of that faith and conviction towards that teacher, accepting in that sense, you establish guru-disciple relationship, you see, with, with, with that person. Mm -hmm. uh, from, the, from that teacher's side, uh, possibility maybe you know the actual Buddha uh, and emanating in the ordinary human form uh, to fulfill that relationship or that teacher maybe just you know is an ordinary person like you but someone who is you know knowledgeable in the teaching you know someone who who is well uh, disciplined in morality, someone who is compassionate, uh, you know, and and the actions of that person's body, speech, and mind is so inspiring to your heart, so inspiring to your practice. Uh, you see, so mm -hmm. so that is the reason, you know, why you establish, why you make the commitment, you know. Uh, you know, more intense than just teacher and st uh, student relationship. Then there are many other ways on the basis of the earlier mention. Then there are a few ways to establish guru disciple relationship uh, through receiving, you know, teaching. Now, having that basic basis of sense of faith and conviction in that person, that teacher. Now you uh, receive teaching, uh, mm, uh, you know, explanations, you know, receive receive talk on on the Dharma path, uh, or you know, receive uh, advice, guidance, uh, and that that guidance, that teaching, maybe just one word or thousands of word, on the basis of the earlier mention. Uh, condition, then that you know establish the guru disciple relationship. Mm. Then the other way is receiving uh, trans oral transmissions, like transmissions of mantras, or transmissions of uh, uh, you know any Buddhist any Buddha's uh, teaching treatise. You know, mm. so so through that you establish guru disciple relationship. Then. Uh, uh, through receiving initiation, uh, tantric initiations, like generous initiation, etc. 
So when you receive initiation uh, on the basis of uh, the condition mentioned before, then uh, you establish, you know, it's very much like kind of stamped, uh, you know, the, your, your relationship with this, this person as a good disciple relationship. Then other, other way is the receiving vows, uh, refuge vows, Bodhisattva vows, uh, you know, like lay, five lay vows, tantric vows, uh, mm, then uh, monks vows, nuns vows. When you receive that from that abbot, that particular abbot, or that particular teacher, then uh, you establish the guru disciple relationship. You know, so so like that. Uh, <clears throat> so then there are uh, guru uh, in relation to your precepts, you know, called Vinaya Guru. Uh, then guru uh, in relation to Mayani practice, Mayani Guru. Guru in relation to Tantra, you know, Tantric Guru. So there are you know, three different kinds of uh, gurus. And uh, basic qualification is same, but then there are specific, you know, qualifications that define uh, differences, you know, among these three type of gurus, you know. So you can have uh, Vinaya guru, you can have uh, the, uh, you know, Mayani guru, you can have Mayani Tantra Guru, you know, Vaj uh, Vajayana Guru, uh, you know, like that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, so like that. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, then, mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe I will go through this, some notes. Maybe that would be better. So now maybe, who is that guru? <laughs> who? Maybe this question comes, okay. Okay, I, yes, is my teacher, but, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my guru, is someone who's so, so precious, you know, uh, so who exactly, you know, besides just teaching me, who exactly this, this guru is, isn't it? You have a question for that? Do you ask this question? Huh? Do you ask, you know, I mean, talk about so, so, so great, you know, I mean, unbelievable, one of the most important person who really, you know, or how this person, is so special, you know, just just beside uh, giving you all the benefit of the teachings, isn't it? We, we can have this question, isn't it? So I have some answer here. <laughs> uh, so this um, usually, you know, this prayer we you know, we we chant uh, during food offering. So I think many of you are familiar with it. You know, Lama Sanjay, Lama Chodesh, Lama Gimin, you know, so that prayer. Uh, so, yes, so you see, so who really, you know, this guru is? Who really this, you know, this your guru is? So everybody may have different gurus. Or if you are just maybe, maybe not yet found someone, you know, to relate, to relate as your guru. Mm. Uh, so it is important to know, you know, uh, who, uh, as I mentioned before, doesn't matter from the guru's side, whether is actually is, uh, is enlightened Buddha. He may be just one ordinary human being like you, uh, you know, and uh, but then carrying the the all the um, the benefit that you needed to receive, you know, carrying all the benefit that you need to receive, 
I see. So in the prayer it says, so, so the Guru, you say, the, I will recite the prayer. The Guru is Buddha. The Guru is Dharma. The Guru is also Sangha. The Guru is the creator of all happiness. Hmm? Uh, to all the Guru, I make this offering, or to all the Guru, I make, uh, you know, I, I prostrate or I supplicate. Hmm? So, so the Guru, you know, to whom that you, uh, you regard your spiritual guru, and that guru is Buddha. <laughs> so the guru, your guru is your Buddha. Your guru is, is a Buddha, you know, not just your Buddha, it's Buddha. You see, so this, uh, this is a big thing, you know. Uh, uh, the guru the who manifested, uh, the guru that, you know, to whom you've been uh, learning from or just having meal together and, you know, uh, traveling in the car, having coffee together, having chit-chat, maybe sometimes even argue or scolding or praises, or ignoring you, or, or, or being very, very caring, or whatever. But the guru, but, the, but that person to whom you have chosen as your guru, the, to whom that you have established the relationship as a guru disciple, that guru is Buddha. Not just your Buddha, is a Buddha. So think about it. This, this one is, is a big meditation, you know, Buddha, you see. Uh, for you, uh, if you cultivate perfect guru devotion practice, even that guru side may be same ordinary, ordinary person like you, has entire power, entire capability to uh, give entire blessing that that someone is actually a Buddha. Because of that reason, you know, that Guru is a Buddha. You see? So, uh, mm -hmm. so Buddha meaning, you know, someone who carry all the uh, skillful you know, methods and tools, skillful methods. Uh, Buddha means omniscient, you know, knowing all your uh, capabilities. Hmm? You see? So, if the guru, from the guru side, if actually is not really a Buddha, but this omniscient capability can be actualized by the disciple when you relate to that, 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 that guru as a Buddha, that guru with a perfect guru yoga practice, perfect guru devotion practice. You see? Mm. It's, you know, every single method to deal with you, uh, because of you carry this guru devotion practice purely, Guru Yoga practice purely, you receive entire Buddha's benefit. And if you don't carry a pure Guru Yoga practice, even though that, that, that human aspect of the Guru happened to be actually Buddha, real Buddha, you cannot receive the benefit. You cannot receive the benefit of the, the, benefit of the Buddha. So, so you see, so it's very much about the disciple. You know, the disciple, disciple play a, major role, you know, and this is good to know, you see, like that. So guru is a dharma, is a, is a guru is the absolute dharma, you see. Uh, the, because guru is a Buddha, guru also carry the quality of the dharmakaya, you see. So, um, like that, you see. So the dharmakaya, uh, 
the, the, the absolute Dharma of the wisdom, wisdom, wisdom of ultimate nature, you know, the, the ultimate nature, the wisdom, knowing the ultimate nature of all phenomena, you know, uh, uh, that is the direct antidote to all the flaws, all the flaws uh, uh, that, we, that we have, uh, you see. So, <clears throat> uh, Guru's existence uh, is in Dharmakaya. You know, Guru's physical existence is like Nirmanakaya, you see. And Guru's revealing the teaching is the revealing the wisdom of emptiness. You know, and that's the way how uh, the Guru is Buddha, as well as Guru is a Dharma, the directly antidote to your flaws. You know, and that's how, you know, through guiding on the path by revealing the correct Dharma, you know, be able to get liberated. Uh, guru is also a Sangha. You see, a Guru carry the, uh, you see, all the, the guru carry guru carry the wisdom of you know uh, the wisdom knowing the ultimate nature uh, you know the person becomes sangha so if if the guru is actually enlightened one then of course no question even if the guru is not actually enlightened one if he's ordinary person the guru has to be carry the knowledge to teach us isn't it so the knowledge the, the essence of the Dhamma is the wisdom realizing the ultimate truth, truth of everything, you know, entire existence, the wisdom of emptiness, you see. The basic knowledge that Guru need to have is the, uh, the, the uh, you know, the, the wisdom, uh, the correctly able to guide uh, on the knowledge of wisdom of emptiness, you see. So, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, uh, at least, you know, has to have the correct knowledge of the wisdom and things. Uh, then, uh, mm -hmm. and, and because of that, is Guru is the Sangha. And Guru is the creator of all happiness. Uh, you see, Guru, by, by, by Guru, inspiring you know the disciple to uh, to cultivate the virtues to cultivate the Dharma you know uh, accumulate you know, merits through 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 engaging in virtues you know inspired to engage in virtues hmm? create merit and the merits are the causes of our happiness you know guru teach us the Dharma correct Dharma then uh, by engaging uh, in the practice, we develop the path, and the path will deliver us the everlasting happiness of liberation and enlightenment. You know, so 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 because of that, you know, Guru is creator of all our happiness. You see, uh, if we if we didn't meet the Guru, hmm, and then you know, very much you know, we live a life worldly concerned. You see. Uh, and, and we may think that oh, before even uh, you know I you know before I found my guru, I was already practicing virtues. One may think like that. I'm already accumulating merits. So you know, in order to accumulate merit, you know, not necessarily uh, the, the the existence of guru is required. We may think like that, but not only this lifetime. You know, uh, whatever virtuous imprint, the virtuous imprint we carry, good human being value that we carry, is by the blessings of the Guru uh, from the past lifetimes. You know, you see. So, if, if we if we have a certain degree of clairvoyance or omniscience, then we we you know how uh, the the imprint of the virtues have accumulated you know, throughout the lifetime. The main cause and condition is the guru, you know, uh, and it, it can be in, in many different type of manifestations, but it has to be the guru, you know. So therefore, 
the create the guru is the creator of all the heavens. So you see, so like that. Mm. Then <clears throat> we can also understand, you know, from the Lama Chirpa, you know, Guru Puja text, Chani Lama Chani, the Chani Kandra You know, and from here you can understand who who really is your guru. Or say who what uh, how to ask the question. <laughs> Uh, the guru, the your guru, who is really, who is really, who, who really she is, who really he is. Is that, is that the correct way to ask? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so sometimes you have to take care of my English. I may, I may, I may be thinking like this, but then say totally opposite. <laughs> so anyway, so in the prayer it says, hmm, "You are the guru." So, so now you relate to your guru. You know, whoever that, whoever that is. You see, you are the guru. Uh, you are the yidam. You see, uh, you are the you are the yidam. So um, yidam is meditation and deity. You see, so guru. Is no no different from the yidam. If your yidam, if your meditational deity is Tara, then your guru is no different than the Tara. And and that's who your guru is. And that is that is that is that is you know that 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 conviction we need to have. You see. You are the Dakini and the Dharma protector. You, you are the, uh, the, you know, the Buddhist, you know, Bodhisattvas, you know, those Dakas and Dakinis, you know, those angels in, in Buddha's realm. You know, you are no different than them. You are also a Dharma protector. So, like such as, uh, uh, Pandyalamu, like such as Siksa Makala, like Chenre Six, you know, practice the Dharma Protector, like Siksa Makala, like that. So you are no different. You are not, you, you are, you, you know, you, you are Pandyalamu, like that. You, you are Dharma Protector. Huh? Hmm? So prayers goes on saying, from now, from now until enlightened, uh, I shall see no other refuge than you. Because of you, you know, because of you are the Buddha, you are the Yidam, you are the uh, Dhaka, Dakini, you are the Dhamma protector. Uh, you are the one source of combination of all the enlightened qualities. Then your ultimate, you know, object of refuge is your Guru. You see? <clears throat> so, uh, you know, we need to come to a point that, uh, you know, you are taking refuge in the Guru. You see, for, for some, some people, it's not easy. You know, maybe easier to take refuge in Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, but then they take refuge in the Guru. For, for some people, it's not easy. You see? But in in actual, uh, the most profound practice on the spiritual path is, in fact, you know, you are not seeking any refuge other than you, the Guru. You see, you seek refuge not you know not only for temporary, not only during when you are uh, in fear, uh, but you seek refuge in this life, uh, the bardo, and all future lives. You see, so the relationship that you have with this 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 guru, whether you have found uh, just days ago, or or you're going to find in the future, you know, uh, that guru is is your object of your refuge. Who going to protect? Who going to protect you uh, throughout the life? And even in the intermediate state, after you know, after this life, 
and all the future lifetimes until we are actualized enlightenment. You know, it may come in so many different manifestations. Uh, it may, you know, uh, come in different form of different forms of a guru, or different forms of teacher. You know, that the guru that to whom that you have, you already established may manifest in a different different other persons. In, in other persons, it will manifest in different, different forms. You see, will sometimes will, uh, will protect you, you know, manifest in a protector's form, manifest in the idam's form, in the meditation deity's form, uh, manifest in a different uh, teacher, female, male, sangha, lay, you know, and even um, manifest in the, in the, in the, um, you know, in the atmosphere, like, a, like an air, you know, like flowers, uh, you know, can be manifest, you know, can be manifest in infinite forms, you know, infinite ways, even, infin even in the form, even in the manifestations of thoughts, you see, can manifest in, in the thoughts, our thinkings, right, you see. So, uh, so as long as we have this knowledge, then, you are you able to remain inseparable from all experiences from the guru. You know you are able to remain inseparable from, uh, from 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 the guru forever. You know during good time, bad time. You know, you know happy, unhappy, virtuous, non-virtuous. You know everything you are able to interpret as a guru's uh, skillful means to uh, to guide you. Uh, you see. So it's again, it's a big conversation. Uh, you know how how guru will guide us when the negative emotion arises. How guru will guide us? You know when positive emotion arises. You see, just an example. When negative emotion arises, if you have this, you know, steady guru devotion, then you immediately say, "Oh, this is guru saying I shouldn't have this emotion in me." Is about to, you know, anger about to arise. Immediately you recognize the flow of anger, you know, the limitation of anger. Then immediately say, so this is, you know, this manifesting in the Guru for me to recognize the faults of anger and to, you know, to apply the antidote and overcome, you know. Normally we get hijacked by the, the anger, negative emotion. You know, we get carried away by the uh, emotions. But when you have this strong guru devotion, the, the practice, the mindfulness in, in the guru yoga practice, then everything, you know, uh, all the negativities is for you to, like, almost like, you there, there is a thief been stealing your valuable things. And now guru is like, say, okay, I help you to make you to catch. This is the thief. So the anger is your thief. Okay, so now you, you you chase the anger away like that, you know. Uh, you see, so uh, then when positive thoughts arise, then you know this is also Guru's manifestation to get inspired, you know, to to, to rejoice, uh, to intensify, you know, our habituation in happy situation on those those uh, positive emotions, you know, like that. You see, so similar goes when when you meet when you meet uh, some difficult people, see. That difficult person is the manifestation of good. To 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 really train you on the 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 practice of the Buddhisattva, patient without perfecting in the practice of patient, you cannot become Buddha, isn't it? So now Guru manifests in this difficult person. You know. So so this this is how uh, being in the Guru Yoga practice, being in the Guru devotion practice. You see, uh, you see, when, when, when someone praises you, when your heart is inseparable from Guru Yoga practice, then there, instead of boosting your ego, you, you humble yourself. You rejoice. You are thankful. You know? and, and, and some more, you know, if you, you, know, you look into your own, own self, if I have all the qualities that someone just praised, uh, then Guru asked me to rejoice it and increase it. If someone just falsely praising you 
all the quality that you don't have, then the guru is asking you to develop that. You see, so every, everything, what you see, what you hear, what you feel, you know, interpret the teachings of the guru. And that's how the guru gets you, you know, and that's how guru uh, manifests, you know, sometimes I hear them, sometimes I'm a protector, sometimes I'm a daga dakinis, you know, like, you know, manifest as your hero, your heroines, you know, right there, right in the struggle, you know, he or she appears in that form and correct you, you know, guide you like that. So, so something like that. Yes. So hold me with your hook of compassion. Free me from the fears of samsara and nirvana and grant all attainments. By my constant uh, companion and guard me, guard me from interferences. So these are the supplications that you make. So, <clears throat> you say Lama, you know, Guru is called Lama, you know, or Geve Shingen, you see. So Lama is two words, La, Ma. So, so the, the first, first letter you can interpret as uh, you know, the supreme, no superior, no superior, no greater than that. You see, you see, Lana Meta. Now, this Ma, you know, hardly people, people may interpret this, but you see, the Ma, you can understand as a, as a like mother, you know, mother, the creator of all, you know, creator of your life, the main main creator of your life is your mother. You know? So it's the Lama is the main creator. It's like, it's like a mother that will, will give birth to all the qualities, all the higher qualities, you know, all the happiness, all the way up to the enlightened qualities and happiness. That's why it's Ma. Like in the Panjaparamita Sutra, like the Wisdom Sutra, you know, yeah. uh, Called as a ma, mother, giving the giving the title of mother, because from there, you know, born all the dharma, born all the enlightened enlightened qualities, you know, born enlightenment from there, you know, from the from from the uh, from the wisdom of emptiness, you know, actualize all existence, isn't it, including enlightenment, in a similar way. So lama, you know, so someone to whom you relate as your teacher, who is guru, is not only you know, supreme in, in, in its qualities and knowledge and benefit to you, but, and, and it is served as like a mother, you know, give birth to your qualities, your enlightenment, like that, you know. Then, gewe shenyin, you know, gewa is virtue, shenyin is my teacher, so teachers of the virtue, so your guru is the teachers of the virtue, yeah, it's also can be understood like that. <clears throat> So the reason why I need to rely on Guru, the importance of you know, relying on the Guru. So there are some quotations, uh, maybe I can interpret from there. So there's a sutra called Namgatima Mebendo. It says that uh, um, you know, must regard the Guru is you know, supreme among all the Tathagatas. The Guru is superior than all the Tathagatas. No, all the Buddhas. All the Buddhas uh, have, have uh, you know, immeasurable skillfulness and immeasurable compassion. But Lame Dage Mena, Duje Yula, Sanji Gitile, Chung Minu. But without the condition of Lama or Guru, then we sentient being will never receive the blessing of the Buddha. So that's, that's the reason. You see, why? That's the reason how important to rely on the Guru, how important to have a Guru in your life. You see? Uh, so without Guru, without the uh, bridge of Guru 
even Buddha has all the tools to benefit you, cannot reach to you. Mm. So this is so true, isn't it? If you know Buddha came to you know, numberless Buddhas came to existence, you know, and 84,000 teachings, Dharma out there. But that that human being guru that you know live among you, if didn't reveal the Dharma, if didn't inspire you, we don't get connect to the Buddha's teaching. And the Buddha, isn't it? That's 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 true. Sangye Nijan Lama Lama Mebar Michun Vena. So Buddha also didn't actualize Buddhahood without relying on the Guru. Uh, so therefore, one must regard and see your Lama, your Guru, is superior than all the Tathagatas, all the Buddhas. Uh, so due to this reason, uh, must rely on the Guru. Hmm? Then, like from uh, Lama Tsongkhapa, you know, from uh, in the Great Lamrim, Middle and Lamrim, Small Lamrim, uh, hmm? even the first chapter that he introduced, uh, uh, you know, the teaching to the disciple is on Guru devotion. You see, the first chapter in Lamrim, you know. From there, you can see the importance of uh, the guru, guru devotion practice, like serve as a basis of all your blessings, all your all, all the knowledge. You see, mm -hmm. uh, like like in a small lamrim, you know, in the foundation of good quality, uh, foundation of good quality is a perfect guru, and relying upon that correctly, you know, it, it serves as a uh, root. To, to, to the path. Uh, hmm. Then in Lamrim, you know, the, you know, all the gradual path we need to actualize in realization. You see, realization uh, on uh, such as small scope, small scopes path, middle scopes path, higher scopes path, like like uh, altruism, bodhicitta, emptiness, including tantra. Without actualizing realization on the guru, guru devotion, none of the rest of the Lamrim realization will be obtained. That much serious, you know, that much essential. I see. So, so it's unbelievable. You know. Anyway, this, this topic, I think we have one session to talk about. You know, to, uh, how to actualize the Lamrim something. Uh, the, the gradual lamrim, uh, I can't remember exact word, but uh, anyway. So in, in in short, yes, without the without without realization of guru devotion, then no no realization in the rest of the path. You see, so therefore, the Katamba masters, you know, uh, emphasize that when you do lamrim meditation, put effort, even it takes. Uh, much time, much effort uh, at the first chapter on the on the guru devotion, worth doing so, worth spending time there, you know, uh, worth giving, you know, as you know, enough time, you know, even it takes a whole life, you know, it is worth. The moment you actualize realization on guru devotion, the rest of the part on small capable, middle capable, and high capable, including bodhicitta, emptiness, including tanda, comes in comes without effort. You know, arises the realization without effort. You see, when you don't have the realization on, on guru uh, guru devotion, then the rest of the path it, it would delay. You know, it would delay long, 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 long time to come to your way. You see, and one of the reason is. Uh, uh, in order to actualize spiritual path as a realization require tremendous purifications of the impure basis, tremendous purifications of our defilements, our our karma, our delusions. Uh, it required tremendous, uh, you know, unbelievable merit in in order to digest, you know, those uh, uh, you know blessings, you know, on, on the path. So, guru is the the greatest object, most powerful object. For us to purify our karma, you know, through uh, relating practice in thoughts and action, through relating practice in thoughts and action, 
you know, it, it, uh, it accumulate, you know, the merit that we accumulate is, is the supest, the greatest way and the supest way, you see, so like that, you know. So the, 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 the topic that we're supposed to discuss is nine attitude of Guru devotion. Uh, so those are the, the practice, uh, you know, uh, the tools or practices uh, um, mm. uh, to, to, to generate, you know, extensive merit and effective, you know, sweet purifications of negativities, you know. Because of that, then when you even have a glimpse of meditation on rest of the lumbering part, it just, you know, develop so easily, you see. So like that. Mm, then another reason why need to rely on, why need to have guru, why need to rely on the guru, uh, mm, Reasoning that Guru is kinder than all the Buddhas, there's a prayer there. Uh, also in Lama Chirpa, you can find the Guru Puja in prayer. To those untamed by you know, countless past Buddhas, the unruly task migratory beings of this degenerated age who are difficult to subdue, you accurately show the good way of those gone to bliss. Compassionate refuge saver, I make request to you. You see, we are maybe some of you may be manifestations of the Buddha, like like obviously me. This 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 very very deep samsaric person is 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 an example of none of the Buddhas able to train me in the past. <laughs> All Buddha have given up on me. <laughs> oh, but that's it. This is just too stubborn, you know. Too, you know, is no way, you know. Numberless Buddhas came, then then Zopa is like just kick out <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so is it? So no one able to even uh, kind of, you know, make me inspired to listen to a Dharma. No question about becoming monk. No question about like dedicating the rest of life in the practice. No question about you know having guru and try to practice in your way. No, no, never happened before. You know, it's like oh, oh, Buddha tried their best to be my guru, but didn't didn't happen. <laughs> I was too powerful in samsara. <laughs> uh, so, so, so you see. So, so therefore, even Shakyamuni Buddha, you know, you know when he when he came two thousand six hundred years ago, I must be. I must be, uh, I don't know, maybe, what, what is the, the, the Santa Fe, the, 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 the most common animals? Uh, coyote. So I must be one of the coyote in, in Santa Fe desert. <laughs> uh, must be also, that was very far away from the ruling. <laughs> Not even nearby, you know? No, I see when I, yesterday I walked outside. This is a prayer flag, you know. If I happen to be nearby, I saw the prayer flag, at least my karma ripened. But I would be so, so far in the deep in the desert. So didn't, didn't, you know, Jajimani Buddha also uh, didn't manage me. <laughs> so you see, so this, the guru, you know, your, your life, your guru, like my late Kishlamu Kuncho, like, you know. So they had these gurus. You see, these gurus, you know, able to tame and at least like kind of like, you know, how to say, put some ropes on the nose. You know, even though no one, no one, no one like that. But <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so, so, you see, so can you imagine how much effort the guru has to put? You know, guru has, guru has to accumulate you know, those resources for beginningless lifetime, you know, to, to make me, to, to able to just, just to like, kind of like, start the initial journey in this life, you see, but they did it, you see. So from that point of view, then, you know, Guru is unbelievable, you know, kinder than Guru Shakyamuni Buddha, you know, kinder than all the past Buddhas, you know, kind, you know kind, kinder than all the, kinder than all the past Buddhas, kinder than all the past Buddhas. Uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> so this is the this is the reason. So your guru is kind of all the past for this. Uh, 
Okay, then Guru is even kinder than Shajiman Buddha. There's also a word there. When the sun of the moon is set be, uh, because of the time, you inet the deeds of the conqueror. For the many transmigrated beings who lack a refuge saver, compassionate refuge saver, I may request to you. So this is talking about your guru, the human guru, uh, whoever, whoever, whoever that may be, uh, you see, is the one that, you know, delivering all the benefit that Shachimani Buddha would deliver to you. But you, 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 are, you, are, not, you, you are not fortunate enough that time that Shachimani would be able to do that. So therefore, the, the human guru, the who be so ordinary with you, you know, is, those are the tools to communicate with you, be with you, you know, able to guide you, you see, like that. Okay. Hmm. Then there's, a, there's a, one of the tantric treaties called Yishi Trubi Yu. You know, so without the without the Lama, then uh, none of the higher knowledge will ever to, you know, uh, able to uh, uh, develop in you. In, in. Then there's a sutra uh, giving a reason. Sutra go Dombo Kyoba. Jawa Zimba Mebani, Jui Paro Chimi, you see. So like the boat, you know, even how great boat is there, but it, it, there's no what do you call it? Captain. The boat sailor is not there, then you know, you can't utilize the boat to cross the cross the ocean. So even how great Dharma out there, you know, uh, if there's no guru to not just the teach the word, the main thing is to 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 uh, transmit the blessing of the Dharma. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's the main thing is about that, you know, not about teaching. Teaching can be, be just one word, could be a thousand words. Uh, but main thing is the Guru, you know, you're able to practice Guru Yoga, you're able to practice Guru Devotion, that bring the blessing to you. To have somebody to, to have this relationship, able to establish this relationship, you know, serve as like the, 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 the board captain to, to, to help to cross the ocean like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then uh, also given an example like the uh, like the magnifying glass, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know, with the magnifying glass, then you you can able to bring the fire on the on the dry grass. Even even otherwise, how how pervasive sun is out there? How how entire you know universe is filled with the flare. You know the bright and strong sun, but without that magnifying glass, it cannot burn. It cannot lit the fire. Similar like that. You know how many great Buddhas and Dharmas and uh, holy beings out there. But if you don't have someone, you know, to relate as uh, your guru, then you know cannot uh, lit the the meritorious fire in you. Cannot lit the you know cannot ripen the path. You know path towards enlightenment in you. Hmm? So he says, you know, similar goes to Buddha's blessing. So, so like that. Okay, so I think there's, um, there are a lot to say that maybe time is facing. So maybe if you have questions, we can do a few question answer then, uh, then otherwise we will continue other time. So uh, the next session, I want to talk a little bit about how to cultivate Guru devotion through thought and practice. And specifically there are you know, uh, teachings from various sutras, tantra, um, you know, commentaries, you know, emphasize uh, why, you know, we, we, you know, and, and how to cultivate in those practices, uh, in thoughts and in actions. Uh, then, um, then talk about the, uh, the guru's qualities, you know, uh, if we want to fresh leave, Find a guru's quality, then mm. you know uh, what are the qualities we should look for, and not only that, also the qualities of the student. Not just having guru carrying all the quality, but student side also need to have a basic qualities. Without that, 
uh, we cannot receive full of benefits. So there are you know, teachings, you know, uh, on uh, describing those qualities. And then also, um, we as an ordinary being, even though, you know, even we happen to uh, relate to an enlightened guru, but then due to our impure mind, uh, impure views, uh, you know, we may, um, we may, we, we, we may, you know, um, what's it? Um, <clears throat> we may, uh, you know, view mistakenly or harass the guru, and there are heavy karmas out there. So that we, you know, also there's a teaching to talk about that and how to overcome their yeah, methods to how you know, and uh, methods to protect us not to not to go through that kind of uh, uh, karma you know, etc then there are also practice uh, uh, you know to 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 make supplications to your living guru uh, to be never be separated and also you know to continuously to receive blessings uh, etc and then also of course we need to talk about the nine attitude of guru, guru devotion also. So hopefully we can get it done with the coming three sessions. Thank you. Sure, please. Please, maybe someone can help to ask. Uh, oh yes, please. Uh, we have a question on Zoom. Sure. Uh, it's from Karen. So, Karen, you can unmute. Okay. <clears throat> can you hear me? Geshula? Yes. Good. Um, I'm sure you'll probably address this in the next uh, three sessions. But my question is, how do you recognize uh, the, the guru? Is it an internal emotional state? Is it an external analytical analysis? Is it a combination of both? Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think, I think whatever you said, I think has element of all. <laughs> uh, so there, there, there are many, many ways. Um, uh, I think most important thing is, uh, mm, the, mm, what's say the, uh, the initial, the basis, uh, you know, having sense of having sense of faith towards that that teacher, having sense of conviction on the teacher uh, in relation to uh, you know virtuous inspiration, like that teacher is inspiring me like that. Then, and then uh, you is, you can establish the guru to. Uh, either you just make the commitment from your side is very much for that very much yourself when you make the decision that okay that person is from now on is my guru uh, so then then there you establish guru disciple relationship uh, even without guru knowing you know uh, if the guru is buddha he surely will know but if from the guru side if he's not enlightened one just ordinary person then maybe he may not know she may not know but 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 you have established guru disciple relationship with that person then the other ways is the, you know, through initiation, through oral transmission, through receiving vows, uh, through receiving commentary. So that established good, 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 good relationship on the basis of the earlier uh, foundational quality. Then there are exceptional uh, emotions. Uh, emotions uh, uh, from your side, you know, the moment you see the person, you never met that person before. You never receive any teachings. The moment you saw the person and you just knew that this is my guru, because you, you just, you know, touch your heart with full of inspirations, full of, you know, transformations, full of blessings, you know, uh, uh, even without having conversation, it also happens. But this is uh, quite risky, you know, quite risky for, uh, you know, if ourselves, um, is too emotional, then sometimes there's a danger of can going can go wrong also because it can be, it can be uh, just maybe that moment you are too uh, positive, and and that positive energy just happened to uh, you know make that decision, 
And later, when you are more calmer, more neutral from your high spirit, then you start to find you know flaws. You start to find unsteadiness of your commit. You, you know your that emotion. You know that 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 establishment. So, so that for that, uh, it, it happens, but it has to be careful. I think uh, you know. Mm. Uh, then, uh, then there are also um, you know uh, mutual from the both the guru and disciple side. The guru also have that kind of uh, spontaneous uh, connection. Uh, the disciples also have that kind of spontaneous connection, you know, to, to, to among each other. And and there you said the, the guru disciple relationship also happens. Um, but that is also quite tricky. Sometimes there's a, a involvement of attachment possible or, or uh, you know, hallucination of views may be possible. Uh, so like that. Then sometimes there's no emotion from you. But from the guru side, completely from the guru side, you know, be chosen, and and that also uh, depend on um, you know the qualification of the guru. And sometimes the guru may choose based on their emotion, and that may be also possibility of uh, attachment may be involved. Never know. Uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's it's a very like, an example if his son is the Dalai Lama uh, or Chapjal Lama Sobarimbuche happened to you know, point finger to someone say, okay, you are my guru, then I think, I think no doubt, I think absolutely going to be safe. And, but if someone, you know, uh, just just uh, not well-established, uh, well-known or well-established uh, teacher and suddenly pop up and say, oh, you know, you, you are my disciple, then maybe you never know uh, uh, how, 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 how real that is, you know. So, so the best Best way to establish guru disciple relationship, which, which you know, uh, all the lineage masters would emphasize is learn from the teacher the dharma. Um, you know, as as long as possible, even it takes twelve years, even it takes whole life, doesn't matter. You learn. Um, you know, of course, in one way, is so urgent to find the teacher, find the guru, because it's so, so meritorious. But in another way, once you establish guru disciple relationship, if any flow comes, the karma also very heavy. So therefore, you know, to, to first you learn, uh, you learn from the teacher, and also you try to spend as much as time as possible, you know, through teaching events, then you will also see the the uh, the the other rest of the other qualities like moral ethics, uh, etc. You know, so uh, you need to relate rely on the teacher. that someone is inspiration to your dharma, inspiration to your path. That means someone, uh, you know, some someone need, need to have a higher knowledge, you know, qualified knowledge in the dharma learning. Then also need to have a, a well more moral ethic. Um, you know, has someone practice. Uh, moral ethic. So the teacher, uh, the higher the mor morality uh, precept uh, observed is better. You know, so the mor moral ethics are the boundary uh, from 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 uh, from making you know non virtuous or making mistakes. You know, uh, taking advantage of disciples, etc. So, mm, so moral ethics. You know, so uh, so in the in the Tibet, you know, the, I mean these days. Well, not, maybe people don't really talk because they are more, um, you know, uh, non-ordained, uh, you know, teacher than the ordained teacher. Uh, then more, uh, you know, there, there are many teachers who, who who give up their 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 precepts. There are many like that, you know, in the world. So you you hardly hear. But in Tibet, in in early time, uh, even in the in the, during the Nalanda tradition in Nalanda time, in ancient time, uh, you know, is very much like, very much like, you know, someone need to be a Sangha, you know, you know because that's the most, most strict vows. So even in Lamrim, you can see Kishi Domtamba and Kishi Poto was discussing about the importance of having teacher as a, as many vows as possible, you know, someone who's having, of course, from the starting from refuge all the way up to the Buddhist Tantra and the and and the Sangha vows. The more the vows is better, 
you know, like that. But these days, it's very difficult to talk about that. Uh, you see, so, so anyway, um, uh, yeah, good moral moral discipline, um, good knowledge in Dharma. Uh, best is complete knowledge in Dharma because once you rely on someone as a guru, the guru need to guide you through all the stages of the path until enlightenment. The commitment is after enlightenment. So then, if guru know only certain path, you know certain don't know certain path. You know, guru know only uh, sutra path, but don't know tantra, then you are stuck somewhere. You know, if you have if you didn't manage to find uh, other guru the, who can provide the, the all the necessary teaching, then you halfway stuck. <laughs> You know, so it's good to have a guru that who have the complete knowledge of the, all the path and as much as uh, precept as possible, vow as possible, and compassionate. You know, if someone has, has a compassion to you, then that person will never take advantage of you, never harm you. You know, if, if no compassion, you know, even high knowledge with no compassion, then can make mistakes. So something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yes, one more yeah. question on the sure. Zoom. It's in chat. Um, thank you so much for your teachings. Um, Geshela, is it all right if we have more than one guru? Yes, uh, this is again, is very, uh, depend on very individual. So you can have one guru, you can have many gurus. Like uh, if you are, so that very much depend on whether you can able to keep up with your faith and conviction and guru yoga practice. So if you can keep up with all the different advice, because if you have too many, you know, uh, the, all the different teachers give you different guidance, then, then, you know, you have to follow everything. So if you can manage that, uh, then uh, all the commitment that each guru gives you, you can able to practice, then well done, you can have many. Like Atisha have uh, 507 gurus. Uh, but then again, in, if you look into Lamrim, Keshe Potawa and Keshe Dobdamba was discussing about, you know, Keshe Potawa said, can I have too many gurus? You know, I have only, I have five, not more than that. And uh, the, the, the other one saying that, oh, no, 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 uh, you know, I can manage, I can have more. So these are all teaching, you know, uh, for us. Uh, uh, it's, it's very much depend on individual. So you can have many, you can have more. But uh, some Kadama masters, um, you know, uh, Emphasizing is good to have lesser, uh, you know. So some some katama master, you know, they stick on one deity, they stick on one guru, they stick on one, you know, very steady main path, and and they, you know, uh, and and they surpass their enlightenment like this, you know, so like that. But if you are lineage holder, let's say if you are holding lineage of transmissions, initiations, and vows, then you know some teacher may may not have this lineage. Uh, of this, this this particular transmission, then sometimes you may need to depend on many teachers to get all the lineages, you know. But if you are just taking care about yourself, your practice, and sometimes uh, lesser may be better. Thank you. You all stop me, okay? I can go on and on. Yeah, I worry about you, okay? So you all can tell me, okay, Keshala, now stop, and I will stop. Yes. Um, so I, I can't, as someone without uh, a guru, I can't help but feel very discouraged almost uh, to not have this magnifying glass, you know. Um, so I understand it's maybe not the karma hasn't ripened yet, but I'm I'm wondering can you recommend any uh, practice I can do to help find a guru? Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, maybe recite Guru Shakyamuni Buddha's name mantra, then uh, make offerings to Guru Shakyamuni Buddha, like, like all the holy objects here, right? you know, you can make a um, Prostrations, you can make flower offerings, then you make aspiration to meet a guru as perfected as like Guru Shakyamuni as like Lama Tsongkhapa, or like that. Mm, you can also recite uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's main mantra. You can also do some Vajrasava you know, mantra recitations. 
and prostration is also a very good practice. Uh, so, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So then uh, we we do quick dedication. So I think I already took uh, extra time of yours. So we need we don't need to go through the long one. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, we think that uh, yeah, actually <laughs> I totally forgot. We're supposed to do prayers at the beginning. <laughs> We supposed to prayers in the beginning, then we do dedication at the end. So, so, so just nice. You know? <laughs> okay. So yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so as 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 like the uh, uh, in Shandideva, you know, Shandideva's Buddhist Sabha says just like the Buddhist Sabha, some of the Buddha Buddhist Sabha Manjushri Buddhist Sabha charities, how they dedicate. Uh, may whatever merit that I accumulate from this session and all the merits um, I created in the past and uh, going to create in the future, I did it just like that, so that all the sentient beings equally will receive the, the, the maximum benefit and will receive you know, until all sentient beings actualize enlightenment. Yeah, like that. Then also understand that whatever merit that we dedicate, the dedicate ourselves, the merit and the uh, purpose we dedicate, also understand it lies in the nature of lack of inherent existence. We also dedicate for the long life and good health of our gurus, like Son Dai Lama, and Gyamsana Masurum Bishya, and all the spiritual gurus. Thank you. Stop here. Please share. Thank you.